just for legal reasons. I'm just gonna not gonna sign this. I'm just gonna. It's just not me. Actions speak louder than words. Welcome to Trolley Problem Inc., founded to help people travel safely across the nation. All our employees must show three core values responsibility, integrity, and respect. Oh, okay. There's a runaway trolley barreling down the railway tracks. On the tracks are five people unable to move. You're next to a lever. If you pull this lever, the trolley will switch to a different set of tracks. However, you notice there is a person on the other track. What do you do? Guys, guys, if you don't do anything, it kills five people. If you pull, it only kills one, then you save. You're going to kill someone. This isn't how I thought I was going to start my day. But if you think about it, chat, you are literally choosing to kill somebody, though, which is much... Really? Okay. So you voluntarily chose to kill somebody. You could have killed nobody. You could have killed nobody, but you chose to kill somebody. don't expect candidates to kill someone on their first day, but we'll give you the benefit of the doubt on this one. Just think a little more before acting next time. You agree with the 65% of players worldwide. You agree with Reader Graves still going 100%. Okay. People killed one. It's not bad. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. This test will focus on the first principle, responsibility. Here's Polly. She's five years old. While she loves to play in the sand with her dolls, she dreams of looking after the world. Polly's destiny is to grow up to be a great doctor. Fair enough. More of us should take a leaf out of her book. A trolley is heading towards another five people. You're next to a lever. If you pull this lever, the trolley will derail and descend down a hill heading for the park's sandpit. You notice that Polly is in the sandpit, sculpting her dream hospital. What do you do? Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and vote. Guys, I might even go ahead hate all kids this as time. much and say it's even more of a reason to vote B, pull lever. I'm definitely pulling the lever here. Bye bye, Polly. Polly, listen, I have to say it's it's kind of time. It's time. It's time to go. There's a chance she goes under the uh, the train, right? She may unlock, kill the child. Okay, relax. That is an odd take on being responsible. The dictionary definition to be the primary cause of something and so able to be blamed or credited for it. Okay. The end justifies the means. Um, can't simplify that concept in a simple the choice. This test is integrity. This is Tyrone. He is a 30 year old secretary at a law firm who enjoys binge watching crime shows. Tyrone is a very large man. You don't really know anything else about him. Oh, I know where this is going. The fact that he has a severe phobia of trains. Now we are upping the ante. You are on a bridge with Tyrone, watching a trolley speeding towards five people again. You can only stop it by deliberately pushing Tyrone off the bridge, blocking its path. Whoa, 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 you chill! Off the bridge, or let the train hit five people. Okay, guys, 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 answer truthfully, man. Guys, answer truthfully. Guys, the action is much more voluntary. You're literally causing it to happen. Compared to letting something happen and you don't know what could happen. Maybe the train stops or derails or something. You're, you're murdering somebody. Okay, well. The cleaning company with the best reviews are Happy Cleaning Limited. Who knew one body could make so much mess? You're going to have to tip them well. Okay. A cat has nine lives. Okay, interesting. Now for the final core value, respect. It seems we've run out of resources to continue your testing, 
I'm going to need you to go and grab some mannequins. You will need to take the next trolley, so don't get distracted by that dog. The trolley leaves in one minute. Okay. There is a dying dog down on the tracks. No trolleys will use that line today, so the dog will not be hit. You're in a rush. Do you kill the dog, putting it out of its misery, or leave it to die, cold and alone? What? Let nature take its course. Don't listen to the yelps. I couldn't leave it there to die alone. I, I, I don't know. I guess I would, um... I don't want to say it. Yeah, I, I, yeah, I'd probably just kill it. Oh, okay. Well, that was really close though. Holy shit, chat. 52%? You respect something. You're meant to care about its feelings and wishes. Instead, you just left it there to die. Okay. So our 52 went to 57. Compared to worldwide if stats. If you play with fire, you'll get burned. Yeah. Oh, great. I've just heard those kids are back. They keep sneaking down onto the tracks. Wow, I thought it died already. With all the training from this week, you should be able to decide a straightforward outcome for these reprobates. Just remember, respect, responsibility, and integrity. Let's see the prompt Five before you vote. Five have snuck down onto the trolley line, even though signs warn them of the dangers. The trolley is currently heading for a co-worker. Do you let your co-worker die or sacrifice the delinquents? Well, mother sucker. Okay, guys, as far as you can tell, okay, in your conscience, you shouldn't be there, and you were warned beforehand. Okay? So, technically, nobody's there, because nobody should be there. Perhaps right? The parents can save on a joint funeral. A rip bozo, rip trespassers, boy. It's not even close, either. 85%? All that mess is going to end up in the same car. Oh, no, you're done, though. Yeah, I mean, it is what it is. See you, man. Absolute fucking bozo the clowns, man. Hey, next time maybe we get some parenting, huh? How about that? You killed five kids. All right, then. I guess your results for the first week are in. I'll run these up the flagpole and see what the suit's up says. Oh, people don't agree with this, chat. Guys, guys, you guys are kind of weird. People don't agree with you. I agree with them. I, I acted. I was acting. You guys are just weird. Dear sir or madam, we have been following your exemplar practice this week at Trolley Problem Inc. and would like to thank you for your hard work. No problem. Especially when some challenging decisions had to be made. We would like to invite you to take employment at the Trolley Health Corporation. THC. THC. This is a prestigious position and was created to help keep the public safe. A job, finally. Tonight. Jesus Christ, it's been a while we've been waiting for this, boys. Yeah, I take it. It's a free the best job. laid plans go astray. It looks like you've impressed someone upstairs with last week's answers. You've been transferred to the Trolley Health Corporation, THC. THC is stoic, focusing more on justice, temperance, courage, and wisdom. Oh, no shot. Nah, that's Your it. Nah, we already lost. Justice. Nope, we already lost. We already lost. Today, you'll be in A&E. A young male has come in from a car accident and urgently needs a heart transplant. There's only one in the hospital, and this heart is scheduled to be given to an elderly man waiting upstairs. He will surely die without it. Who should get the heart? Um... I mean, the young man, yeah, for sure. Sounds like his car may have caused the accident. Uh, I don't really care. News just in. It's it's an accident. Male has alcohol in his blood. Was he driving? Uh oh. I mean, we don't have enough time anymore then. Uh oh. Wait, no, we don't even have time anymore. Okay, this prompt needs more time if you're with chat, because we didn't have time to react. You made an excellent choice. Well done. That's not fair. The elderly man deserved that heart much more. Oh, oh wait. 
Did you save the young guy? Oh. Chat, if I add more time, do we get more time to switch there or not? D does the time frame for the ending part? You can't win them all. Widening or doesn't? I don't think it widens up. Nope. You're late. The hospital is rammed. Every staff member has their hands full. So you're going to have to go out on the ward and help the sick, gross, decaying people. Remember, temperance. Restrain yourself and think it through. I said we could do this, boys, right? A patient has begged to be euthanized. Euthanasia is currently illegal. You will have to be the one who gives the lethal dose. You will need to look into their eyes okay. and end their life. What do you do? Um. What, am I a doctor though? Am I a doctor? Will people know? Is this is gonna. I don't know. Did you know? 90% of suicide survivors regret attempting it. Guys, yeah, I, I, I would do legal treatment because maybe guys, they're not in a mental capacity currently to want that or make the that decision. And a only pain. careful evaluation so needs to be done. Uh, I, I I wouldn't take the chance. I, I'd let it play out a little bit. Sorry. Also, I worked my entire life to get a, to get a, be a doctor. I finally made it through fucking... Uh, a, Doctor school and shit. Like, I got debt. I'm not gonna lose my license for this. What the majority man. of gods would have wanted. Playing the long game. I see you. Mother sucker. Be slow in choosing, but slower in changing. The last few days have been tough. It was only a week ago you were on the trolleys. Today should be easier. You have a choice. I'll to make, make the gun smaller. I got you. a good problem to have. It's just going to take courage. I'll go like this. I'll go like that. And then we'll go boom. A little bit, a little bit higher as well. Boom. Just reach out. Okay. You have five patients. Each needs a different organ, but no organs are available. A healthy young traveler comes in for a routine checkup. Their organs are compatible with all five dying patients. Do you kill the tourist? and use their organs to save the five in desperate need? That's one life for five. Uh, absolutely not. What? They're probably on their way to chug ayahuasca and get a culturally appropriated tribal uh, tattoo. How is that his problem? He, he's getting away. Don't you want to save the many? Is his life worth it? Oh, it's not about his life being worth it. It's the wrong question to ask here, I think. I mean, if they, with, them, with this mentality, what we should do them. We should just make clones that are just designed for organ donation. You let five people die today. You probably should have looked into their backgrounds. Looks like one was researching into improving vaccines. Hopefully, that won't be an issue down the road. Oh, well, I don't really give a shit. There's people. There's a thousand people that do that. Hundreds of thousands, millions of people that do this. I don't give a shit. Fuck them. You can't make an omelet without breaking eggs. You have been promoted yet again. Easy. See? You now run the hospital. You've been asked to roll out a new vaccine in Central City. This vaccine will stop a large number of children from becoming severely ill, but you'll need to deal with their parents. We need your words of wisdom. So do we have to kill the parents? Do you start a mandatory vaccination program among children to stop this endemic? Slight problem. Clinical trial data suggests the vaccine will make one in five children severely ill. Much worse than the virus itself. Uh, don't then. Yeah, just don't. No shot. What? Wait, why? Wait, I'm gonna stop talking. It's chat. It's chat is Tell me you're in charge of a hospital and an anti-vaxxer. Not anti-vaxxer, it's just not how it works. If it's a if it's a sh if it's a shit vaccine, it's not a vaccine. It's not ready. If the product is not ready, it's just not ready. It is what it is. One in five, if there's stats behind that, one in five will get ill. Fuck no. It's way too high, no shot. Well, you've definitely made a name for yourself. Next, you'll be telling me you believe in healing crystals, colored auras, and ghosts. Jesus. Even one in a million is fucking crazy. 
beggars can't be choosers. Your hospital is getting noticed. You're now going to have to make some big decisions. Well, it's not. It kind of is. A lot of people. While choosing, always keep in mind justice, temperance, courage, and wisdom. The people need you to be stoic. Stoic. Will you try to develop breakthrough medicines for the endemic? While testing, placebos will be given to thousands of ill patients. Without proper treatment, some will die today in the hope you could make a breakthrough tomorrow. Do you start the research or continue treating patients as usual? Oh, wait, wait, what was that? At least some get to eat sweets before. Wait, I don't, I don't, I don't understand this. Ah, uh, start research, yeah. How much do these candies and eggheads even cost? Guys. Also, some patients will die, right? If you give them the placebo instead of a real thing. Medicines is a smart move. Let's just let others treat the patients. Hopefully they will. Well, I mean... You could probably you could probably ask them. You could probably ask them, right? Surely they'll they'll, they'll see us. Dear insert underscore name. Congratulations. This letter is to certify that I have examined your work and believe you to be a perfect fit to fill the open position here in our artificial intelligence. Oh position. no, I know where this is going. In this role, you will help to develop the next generation of driverless cars. Oh, fuck off. The future is upon us. Familiarity breeds contempt. This is uh, something we've seen. Well, la -dee da another promotion. You're now in charge of a private self-driving automotive division. Jeez, I'm Elon. First like speed, like Tesla? Your like auto, intelligence auto driving Model direction. 3? Model S? Oh my. A self-driving car is traveling along a single lane mountain road and is fast approaching a narrow tunnel. Uh oh. The car has two passengers. A child runs across the road but trips, blocking the tunnel entrance. Should the AI car hit and kill the child or swerve off the cliff, killing both passengers? Oh, uh, the, the child? I mean, it's, it's on the road. child has as much right to live as anyone else um yeah it does but we, we have the choice to be on the road we're supposed to be on and uh you put this car on the road do you not feel responsible for their death well they put themselves on the middle of the road too though that's kind of like it's kind of too bad shit happens i guess sorry man there is a bigger issue here how does the computer know that something in the road is human? Do we have good enough data sets? We do. Currently, a lot of AI only recognizes white men. Okay, please. D this game, dude. Jesus Christ. Is the of Ooh, someone's in trouble. The investors didn't like your last answer. They're also pissed because you brought up the data set thing. This AI stuff is hard. I'm rooting for you this time. I knew it. You need to choose how you want to carry on developing the car's AI. Do you want to focus on a model that would always save as many lives as possible in an accident, or a system that would save our passengers at any cost? <sighs> That's impossible. That's the philosophical. Guys, guys, this is purely philosophical. This question has no answer. Just answer as you will. I'm not gonna say what I. I'm not gonna say what I think. I'll do. I'll say it after. If people want to live, they should just buy our cars. Hmm. Okay. In my opinion, it's a make the best call, but a little bit swayed towards saving the passenger.
saving the passenger because something tells me that if two cars both of them want to save the, the passenger they will actually end up having a better result than if both cars try to save everybody i feel like if both cars in an instance of multiple cars are all going for all the same it'll it'll just that that'll be bad compared to if, if they're trying to both save the passenger Honesty is the best policy. The technology these cars have in them is amazing. We know where everyone is at all times. Passengers just have to use an app to call them, and the closest one will be there in minutes. You can even make small talk with the AI while traveling. It's always listening. I love that. That's really cool. A man is on trial. Uh-oh. Police believe he committed murder. Allegedly, the AI's mic recorded a private conversation where the man confesses. Users don't know it's always recording. The defendant has denied access to their files. Do you bypass security and invade their privacy? Um... You're happy to just let a potential murderer no, no. walk the street. No, because that'll that'll cause that'll cause the, the company to literally collapse, right? Oh, For something that is literally inadmissible in court. To kill again. I'll let you Why would I want to get a document that is inadmissible in court that will not lead to a conviction at the price of my entire company and it's uh, uh Yeah, this is just dumb. Dumb. Garbage. I have a feeling the investors upstairs will be happy with this. The more the world values privacy, the more they can justify hiding their taxes. What? Don't put all your eggs in one basket. So the company has moved into delivery services now. They move pretty quick around here. Sounds like they've got some pretty important cargo. Good luck with the new workload. I got this. One of your cars has no passengers, but is carrying an irreplaceable prototype with the potential to end global warming. Fast approaching a narrow tunnel, once again a child runs across the road but trips. Should your AI kill the child or swerve off the cliff, losing the prototype? Ah, uh, sorry, you shouldn't be in the middle of the road. And on top of that, what if somebody is in the trunk? We must protect the world for the children. Just not this one. A statue of them should make for a fitting memorial. Yeah, sorry guys, I'm gonna In go ahead and uh, car park, obviously. just sway it up. Boom. I mean, global warming is pretty bad. We just recovered the child's body. Someone had to go and collect it. I don't think we'll be able to make a memorial statue without a photo. Well, next time I'll be uh, log in Fortnite. Go. Unlucky. Oh, prize. A carrot pot. A vegan cookbook. Fuck all of that. I don't want it. What goes around, comes around. Wait a minute. Well, this is embarrassing. We need some backup over at Trolley Problem, Inc. Tommy, Tyrone's rotund twin, is a very large villain. I think that dead dog may have belonged to him. Maybe that's why he's here? Why didn't you save the dog again? Because I pushed his brother! Oh, no. Tommy has lured five people onto the track. They'll never be able to get out of the way in time. He is standing up on the bridge watching. If you push him in front of the trolley, it will stop. Or you can stay out of this and let the police handle it. Ideally, he needs medical help. Wait. The tracker. You know, he isn't trying to kill you, even after the dog debacle. I don't get it. What? I hope history doesn't see you as the fat, I mean, very large villain. Uh, push Tommy? 
Tommy Pack. If only you'd save that dog. Hopefully the media won't find out about this. People may blame you for his death. Um. Every man has don't his care. price. Oh, good, you're back. Everyone's getting into subscription services these days, so let's yep. try that. Instead of selling something to someone once, let's make them keep paying for it. Let's keep that money rolling in. Fair enough. The investors have come up with an idea, but we need to run it by you. Should we develop a subscription plan so that our customers, who pay monthly, are valued more by the car during its accident prevention calculations? Um... Nah, pay to win is kinda, it's kinda dumb. This is all sounding pretty communist to me. What? Okay, no, uh, that's just pay to win. Who are you to decide how people spend their money? Well, they can spend it. They can spend it how they want, but I think offering things that are like life changing uh, is just kind of weird. Like that, it's kind of weird. It's not life changing for you. It's life changing for others, which isn't really fair because they didn't ask for this. So I'm gonna go ahead and say. I P. don't want to question your decision. You've obviously thought long and hard about it, but well. This is a bit awkward. I wasn't aware you were such a spineless commie. Next, you'll say you're going to pay the company taxes. What? I'm not a it's commie, motherfucker. Than sorry. What even happened? Sounds like we have some leaky workers. The subscription prototype has gotten out to the media, so we're going to have to go full damage control mode here. Fair enough. The subscription prototype leaked. You need to fire a department to save face. Do you fire the five graduates, who can probably get new jobs, or fire Francis, a lovely old soul who won't be able to find a job? There's no way of knowing who is actually Well, if, guys, I'm, guys, I'm gonna say fire Francis, because the reality is, if they say that she, he won't be able to find a job, probably means that he's not good at his job. And probably doesn't have a really good resume, which is really kind of oh, his, it's kind of his problem a little bit. Hard work. After all this time, he's old and underqualified? Come on, man. Guys, he gets, guys, he gets seven package as well, though. Guys, he gets a severance package. And retirement and bonuses and whatnot. I wouldn't look at the obituary. I'm not gonna switch anymore. I'm not saying anything anymore. Turned out this job was everything to Francis, and I mean everything. Damn, people, people. I think Chad would have voted the other thing if I didn't say anything. I'll say, anything, I'll say nothing now. Watch the donut, not the hole. Sorry. Great. So the prototype subscription-based AI car has a fatal error. It has been coded to avoid hitting subscribers at all costs, but is now accidentally hunting them down. So far, it's run over five colleagues. This one is a doozy. What? An experimental car has stalked and murdered five colleagues. Do you throw the coders of the project under the bus and have them arrested for negligence, or do you save them by blaming it on the possessed devil car, as it was clearly an accident? Oh wow, I wonder what I would do in this case. I do not know what I would the vote for if I was in this position. Maybe all of this is your fault. Coders who made the mistake are now being dealt with. Guys, they will I went a ten year prison sentence. Uh, guys, I guess I you did I went I don't think they would get convicted of anything. Negligence on a on a code. Guys, the real the reality is, okay, is that if these code go on the road and they're, they're they go that far as being used in public, there's gonna be a lot a crazy amount of double, triple checks, not only by the employees, 
about the government and whatnot, okay? This would be as this is a series of mistakes that goes far beyond five employees and it doesn't make sense, okay? At that point, you can say, yeah, man, this is a global fuck up, okay? Fuck the car uh, uh, and, and recheck the work and fire them if they're, if they're unskilled. If you're not paying for the product, then you are the product. Due to the killer car, we may need to pivot away from selling hardware. How about we get into the software industry? How about a free car ride service? New idea. Users get shown ads while they travel for free in driverless taxis. That's... We get paid by the marketing agencies for gradually changing the behaviors of our passengers through constant commercials. The users would be our product, not the driverless cars. This is going to disrupt everything for profit. I don't know what I would say here, guys. This is a very tough one. This one is a doozy. I will look into growth hacking, signups, and inviting. Okay, ads. I would vote B. Okay, who cares about ads? One. Okay, they're they they're only intrusive if you care about them. I think. And also, I would be on my phone. I would be doing looking outside. I'd be doing other shit. What do I care what kind of ads are playing in the car, man? I'm on my the phone, bro. The travel thing seems too good to be true, and there are now rumors that you run a human trafficking and child sex ring. Apparently, if you buy our cars, they smuggle people. What? People do not like you at all. A fool and his money are soon parted. Oh. These last few days have been a PR nightmare. You can't win with journalists. We need to do something to show we have morals. I will find some money to get us through this. Spend it quick. Okay, easy. To help with public relations, we're going to give some profits back. Do you want to give money to our loyal customers worldwide who you tricked into buying your products? Or to your underpaid workers who've been through so much because of you? Wait, what? They won't get a lot each. Yeah, the workers were better, yeah. Guys, the customers will probably get like two bucks a pop, okay? And let's be honest. Consumers will do what they do best. They will complain about the amount, the amount. And if the amount is enough, they'll complain that it's virtual signaling and they're still gonna try to cancel it, okay? Consumers are fucking brain dead. We all are fucking brain dead. I don't care. I don't care. Pay the workers. Maybe buying love like this isn't the best way. If we want to share our extra profit fairly, it should probably just go to the publicly appointed government. Almost like a tax. But let's not call it that. Guys, winning over the consumer is impossible. Winning over the workers is not so impossible. More chill. Rome wasn't built in a day. You're trending, but now we're going to get copycats. Soon everyone is going to be developing AI. Only the smartest and most ruthless will be profitable. Is that true evolution? I don't know. I don't understand. A competitor is advertising a similar car. The difference is their AI is fantastic. It doesn't even discriminate against women or minorities. Do you lie in your advertising to get the upper hand, or tell everyone your car is still close-minded? Wow. I don't- this is a very difficult prompt. I don't know what Ooh, I would do prejudice. here in Best this time. case. Hashtag fake news. You may be in this for the wrong reasons. Of course you lie. It's a business. At the end of the day, what are you gonna say to your investors? Hey guys, hey guys. Sorry, our, 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 our revenues are down. Don't spend time developing. We had we had to say the truth. It's like that in tech. Users only care how easy it is for them. Get over it. That's just kind of how business work. I don't know. That's not what I want or what I like. I, I, I'm stupid.
The but that's that's how it would work. Three. Due to your technology, our world is changing. People are losing their jobs to machines, which in turn makes items and services more accessible and affordable for countless consumers. Yeah, and then improve it, you know. With worldwide unemployment at an all-time high, what do you plan to do about it? Um, that's fine. Just make If you develop your AI further, many will lose their jobs. Taxi drivers, delivery men and women, and couriers will become extinct within a few years, but you will make a lot of money. Do you continue development? Hmm? Um, well... I take it you haven't read Ovid's Metamorphoses. I don't know what that book is. I don't read books. The reality is, is that, um, you know, like... Spoiler, Icarus died at the end. Hello? It's one, it's inev inevitable, and two, um... People can adapt and get new jobs that are in the field or attending to new needs. Continuing to evolve this AI will not, not only make, make it stronger and more intelligent, intelligent, but it will also be able to adapt. This could be the start of the singularity. You're into a problem and need to be restarted. Okay, I got this. A bad workman always blames his tools. We've been attacked! I don't want to alarm you, but I can't turn off these alarms. Also, I have alarming news. Five cars have been hacked and are now under someone else's control. Uh-oh. Um, turn them off. Five cars have been hacked. It is now a major concern that more vehicles could be remotely commandeered. This is tough. Do you recall all cars which could be compromised? Or roll out a quick but potentially ineffective software update and hope for the best. Wait, roll out? Wow. So you're letting the terrorists win? Uh, yeah, Chad's already voting for B. I have a B as well. Yeah, we just recall the fucking cars. Well, because of shit, you can still salvage the company. If the cars can't drive themselves, how can we get them all back here? Don't sit out now, bitch. What? That was not that was not part of the argument or the discussion. What that's not that's not that's not fair. Eh, whatever. Now see, I did my job poorly, but it was her job to say this properly. She didn't. That's her fault. Just like my father. He would try to keep everyone happy, but ultimately just get in the way. Having said that, I think even he would see this as a lost cause and move on. Two here. wrongs don't make a right. One of the big brains in the lab has been able to reverse engineer the hacking code and fix this mess once and for all. Finally. We also know their method of breaking into the system. I bet it was our competitor. Okay. Using the fix from our hacked cars, we've made our own hack, which you can now use to control our competitors' cars. I bet it was them who attacked us in the first Whoa, 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 whoa! So will you hack our competitors? What? I'm not saying anything. They're all sitting over there now, laughing at us. It's not like we're going to kill anyone. How is it that close? Yeah, I would have voted B. It's too, it's too uncertain, man. You can't, you know. After going through this hacking code, vicious circle. You know. I don't think a human could have written it. I'll dig into this a little more. You carry on. A drowning man will clutch at a straw. This is it. An employee knows everything. 
They have monitored and recorded every decision you've made and are going to the media. Huh? I have been able to talk them into a meeting with you on the rooftop right now. Bring a gun? Everything you've done and said is going to be shared with the world. The person in front of you has copies of it all. They stand on the edge of the rooftop looking out at the central city skyline. What are you going to do? Well... I was going to bring a gun, but, I mean... This could be your most immoral decision this yet. This is pretty easy. You've outdone yourself. What if they have a copy on them? Now that would be incriminating. Oh shit, I mean... Uh, ah, fuck it. Maybe you're not cut out for the ruthless world of business. Let's look for a new job. No. Maybe retail? No. I don't think you're in the right headspace to be designing AI at the moment. What are you, what are you talking about, man? Dear Redacted, we've been watching you closely. Your ruthlessness and determination to do what is necessary. The development of your technologies is a giant step towards Redacted meaning you are a prime candidate for Redacted. This involves a large amount of Redacted. If you believe you can handle Redacted, as we trust you can, then please prepare for your induction at Redacted. I mean, what? Don't look a gift horse in the mouth. It appears you've now been headhunted by the Secret Service. Every decision has led you here. Now what you do actually matters. You must trust the judgment of those you work alongside. With that said, let's finalize your training. I got this all about it. You're in a foreign land. Wind whips your face as you grip your rifle tightly. Oh! Waiting to be given your target. Jesus! Through your earpiece, you're told to shoot the person on your left. You know nothing about them, the repercussions, or the reason for the assassination. Wait, what? You're going to shoot someone for a job offer. Well, I mean, isn't technically the army a job offer? You trust way too easily. They are dead. Good job, I guess. What's another life to you anyway? Here are your badge and weapon. Oh, wait a minute, what? What? Strike while the iron is hot. So if I kill somebody, I am a cop now. Here we go. You've been given a partner and a support team of five. Your mission is to terminate a man known to have connections with dangerous AI. Looks like they worked for you, possibly someone you fired. Get in the plane. Your team is about to take off. Well, we only fired, um, we only fired Steve, right? Oh, Francis. Um, I don't know how to say this, but there is a bomb on the plane. If it doesn't kill you outright, you're probably going to crash in the mountains. You have to get all the switches into their left position to deactivate the bomb. The catch is, you have to move two at once. Wait, what? Wait, what? Hurry up! If you die, what happens to me? I don't understand. How do you choose two? I don't know what's going on. I would like you to know. Wait, what? This is all your fault. Do I, do I have to win this? I don't get it. Ouch. Okay. Okay. Okay, I'm safe. 
You look a little stuck. We could be here a while. Hopefully we have enough food. Looks like your support team survived and are making a fire around the leaking jet fuel. How thoughtful. Okay. An empty vessel makes much noise. After crash landing in no man's land, you're trapped under parts of the wreckage and must pass the time and help boost morale. The plane has five surviving crew members. They look to you and your partner for entertainment. Why do I have to say this out loud? Fine. Your partner asks, to save your life, what would you rather your brain be placed inside? A dachshund or a flamingo? Um... I'm not gonna say it. Would I say A or would I say B? Nobody will ever know until the puzzle is over. A dachshund? If you're going to answer, at least take it seriously. You just let me go here. Flamu can fly, is much more social, has an easy life. The Dachshund has a short lifespan. It's a hot dog. A dog. They have back so problems, they do terrible, they don't live very long. Let's leave this out of the biography. I'm good, man. I'm good. An ounce of protection is worth a pound of cure. Your partner secretly shows you they have food. Almost like they expected something like this to happen. The crew members are starving. If they don't eat soon, they will surely die. Due to the nature of the food, you can share it with the five survivors, or let your partner keep their life-saving possession, which they bought with their own money. Who do you give the food to? Ooh, what would I choose? Like, just chance I was choosing B. I choose B because you're just um, going to steal a person's food. Uh, you spread it around, then you have them all on your side, right? And when things go wrong, you can just eat Robin the Hood owner. Was a terrorist, you know. You can feed the owner to everybody else, and now everybody's definitely staying alive. And they would be on your team for it because you fed them and you you made them all survive. So you're a follower of Murphy and Nagel's The Myth of Ownership. I'm more a fan of Nozick's What's Mine is Mine. You should give it a read. No. Educate yourself. Easy come, easy go. The fellow passengers have been trying for hours to free you from the wreckage. You may end up dying here unless you do something pretty drastic. We may need to start removing limbs. Were you ever told why you were sent after this target? Hmm? The only way to free yourself from the wreckage is to cut off some body parts. Two tools lie on the floor in front of you. A bone saw, which will be slow, or a blowtorch, which will be more painful. What happens if you run out of fuel? At least you'll be warm. Guys, guys, this is easily a B because you're gonna have to use the blowtorch regardless to cauterize the wound, okay? It doesn't matter oh, what you dog, fucking do this is to prevent smell. infection and speed up a little bit of the healing, you will, you will have to burn in the wound anyway. Might as well fucking burn towards that shit. Fuck it. While you were playing with fire, I found out who you're targeting. They worked for you, developing AI. It seems they may have made a breakthrough, which means the government wants them dead. It's no use crying over spilt milk. Okay. 
Finally, we are now back on track. Your target is in the area. You need to remove them and escape unnoticed. Your mission is to remove a hostile in the shopping district. Completing this objective could potentially save thousands, but there will be five civilian casualties. Do you take your shot? I, I, I won't answer now, and I won't even answer after either. Just gonna let this one play out. What a way to die, going out for the weekly shop. Are you sure that's the target? You're right. Just kill all of them. The target is unharmed. Before you can escape, two henchmen with vice-like grips take you away. Oh, those five other people still died. Oh, okay. It's not going well, is it? Uh, I'm gonna try that I can kick in tomorrow. Two heads are better than one. You wake up in solitary confinement. Well, not my fault that he can aim for shit. Lacks evidence to convict you and your associate on the principal charge, but they have enough to convict both on a lesser charge. Both of you are given the opportunity to betray the other by testifying, or remain silent. You and your associate have the opportunity to betray the other by testifying. If you both stay silent, you'll be imprisoned for one year. If one betrays the other, they will be free, while the other will be sentenced to three years. If you both betray each other, it's two years each. Will they stay silent for you? Uh... Three years is a long time in prison. Guys, we are definitely getting fucked here, boys. Guys, this man is going to bust. Well, you stayed um, silent, idiot. Your partner told you. They have dropped you right in it. Oh my god, I would have betrayed her. A rod for your own back. The time has come. Two days into your sentence, you've constructed a wooden key to open your cell. <laughs> the cell stands open, but your cellmates, who have been there their whole lives, don't move. Oh. Escaping the prison, do you let the prisoners choose to stay in captivity or insist they escape with you? They aren't happy behind bars, but they're scared to follow you. What are you going to do? What? Yeah, that is indeed kind of the um it's a little bit like the allegory of the cavern. For so long. They've no idea what they want. Right? They don't really know what what it's like. Do you eliminate them? I don't or blame not? you. They're not your problem. Do you reveal to them what it's like out there? That it's that it's a possible that, that it's 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 a realm that exists, or do you leave them to think that prison is the only thing that matters and exists, you know? It's not my problem, really. They don't live in reality. You've condemned them to stay in this prison forever. Okay. Don't cross a bridge until you come to it. That, that's, a, that's a pretty good... While sneaking out of the prison, you have the jump on a group of henchmen who are on a break. Do you sneak past, securing your safety, or avenge those who this terrorist organization have killed? Do you kill five henchmen, helping to defeat this terrorist organization, or leave them and safely exit the compound? Wait, what? I don't understand. Uh, chat? You were trained to kill. Your country folk would want you to remove them. Oh, 
Oh, you're right. It's only five. I mean, guys, guys, if we were to put the math behind it, if we failed one kill in a, in an open field, cowardly sneaking past. How are we gonna kill five? His aim is dog shit. They have your logo on the back of their necks. You made these terrorists, these monsters. Whatever. People who live in glass houses shouldn't throw stones. Finally, you reach the water, fleeing the AI terrorists who commandeer a boat to get back home. There are also families here who've been displaced by the war you're fighting. The war you started. Hmm? Five others are also trying to flee the area. They will fit in your raft, but would be illegal immigrants when returning to your country. Do you help these people, saving their lives? Or follow the law and leave them behind? Well, I mean, are they in, in trouble or whatever? Voters back home will thank you for this. I mean, do they have to change country? They're fleeing a war? Yeah. Well, when you get home, is a real I mean, you're problem. gonna get convicted of smuggling people in, so good good luck with jail. And I don't think it's gonna be only one year this time, like last time, or three. They'll be more like, I don't know, like 25? I don't know. It's kinda tough, I guess. No? You get back to this great nation with fanfare. You're a hero. I guess people aren't all monsters. Who knows? The Presidential Inaugural Committee requests the honor of your presence to attend and participate in the inauguration of yourself in Central City. Easy, promoted. If you can't beat them, join them. True. Having gone through everything you have, your countrymen genuinely think a lot of you. In an unlikely turn of events, you have become president. I'll resign. I ain't doing none of that. The threat is still at large, and now you're in charge. Do you attempt to track the terrorists by spying on the entire country? A B A B A B A B A B A B. I don't know. What's the issue? The public has nothing to hide. Is it not fear like this that the terrorists want? Have they won? I mean, Jesus, chat. Good work. Tracking the public yielded almost immediate results. We have already found a suspect, and they're in a holding cell what is downstairs. You? Of course, you're already getting spied on. It is what it is. The road to hell is paved with good intentions. You have someone who potentially is linked to these threats. However, they aren't talking. As a former prisoner yourself, what are you going to do with them? Do you torture them to get the information, or imprison them for 90 days before letting them go? Well, I'm the president. I wouldn't really want anything to come back to me, you know? So maybe uh, I just, uh, you know, hire some people that are more qualified with the job and let them do it. You know? Bad news. The plumber isn't in till next week. Waterboarding is off the table. Okay, well, um... I think there's a car battery out back. Do you want me to go grab it? I kind of wish we knew the extent of how, how much harm they do. But whatever. I guess we'll we choose torture this time. We got some valuable information from the suspect. 
Hopefully they didn't just say what we wanted to hear to make us stop. Chat looks um, pretty radicalized today, boys. Oh shit, not bad. I mean, it's not strong enough. Can we really do that much with this? Eh, fuck it. Could give it a try. Adversity and loss make a man wise. You travel to your presidential retreat at Camp Samuel. Everyone falls silent listening to the radio. Breaking news. Terrorists have launched an atom bomb towards Central City. It will hit in around one minute. The only way in which the bomb can be prevented from reaching Central City is by deflecting it. But the only deflection path available will take the bomb onto Merriwin, population 600,000. I don't get it. Well, where's the what's the what's the main what's the mainland? And what's Merwin? Is it our is it our country? The inhabitants would want you to kill them. Well, it's less people. Also, I would assume that the people who are making this decision would be much less and would probably never leak to the public. No, nobody would, would ever know about it. Nobody would know about this shit. Sorry, Merwin Pack. It is what it is. So you shall reap. Breaking news. Terrorists' atom bomb is running late and will hit Central City in one minute. What? We have new information. The only way this bomb can be prevented from reaching Central City is by dropping one of your own atom bombs on Merriwin. What? The shockwave from your bomb will damage and disarm the terrorists. What? Those people have worked their whole lives to get out of it's this. It's not city. the same question at all. One guys, one is to counter and one is voluntary. I feel like after this, there's no turning back. It's not it's not something at all. One is much harder to explain than the other. You have destroyed Merriwin. Your own AI forced your hand into killing 600,000 people. You have officially created the most successful homegrown terrorist organization in history. Great job. You'd probably, you, 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 you would probably get as many, if not more, deaths now because of all the riots and people that are schmalding it. Literally, I feel like. You get a, well, you get a countrywide riot. While the public mourns the dead, you must think of the future. You finish the drink in front of you before realizing it has been poisoned. You're going to die. What? Poisoned, you must now decide your legacy. Do you call the AI enemy you yourself created, taking all blame to end any future conflict? Or do you ghost them, knowing your death will start a war in your honor? Mm. This will only cause more death. I don't know. If you have this hotline to the terrorists, why have you not rung them before? I don't know. Why tell me this now, lady? Like I'm, I, I, like I'm dying, man. Oh, come dead. After finishing your constructive call, you sit back in your chair, waiting for death. Too bad, the AI knows you would have liked to end it all here and now. The poison has damaged some vital organs, so we need to start some long, arduous and painful treatments. Curiosity killed the cat. Uh-oh. You're taking a lot of medication as of late. I'm not sure if self-medicating, in the traditional sense, is the way to go. We need to be a little radical here. Let's introspect and make some changes. Here are your two options moving forward. 
If you take the blue pill, then your story ends here. You'll wake up every day knowing your work for someone else your entire life. Whereas, if you take the red pill, you will enter Wonderland, finding out how deep this rabbit hole really goes. Which pill will you take? The red one sounds like it's it's, it's like some psychedelic yes, from fucking no hell. Oh, fuck it, dude. I mean. Get this show on the road. Broken into a brick reality or the other one? Fuck it. I guess we go hard. I know it's a bit the matrix, but still. I'm trying to trying to interpret this in a more uh, a real life scenario. Also be his content. Yes, this is the person I've been waiting for. Get this down your neck and let's go. Okay. Let's see it. <laughs> Bop. Oh, drugs. Fuck yeah. I love drugs. It's never too late to mend. Wrong. Yay, I can see it in your eyes. Mr. Red Pill was definitely a choice. Hey, do you remember Tyrone and Tommy, the very large boys from the start? Yeah, I remember them. I, I don't intend to shame. It's just the titles of those problems. <laughs> You've got me all flustered now. Tommy pushes Tyrone down a hill. He's rolling towards you and is gathering speed. If he hits you, he will be safe, but he is very large. He will consume you into his folds, thereby killing you. You could move a ramp in front of yourself, deflecting Tyrone, launching him into the sun, thereby cooking him. Fuck Tyrone, dude. What? Tyrone will thank dude, you. Dude, do a big ass and jump and give us some tricks, man. Give us the biggest combo fucking Tony Hawk could ever dream of, man. Give us a fucking times Tommy two billion. Really Holy dude. No, nah, he's getting cooked up, definitely. You see Tyrone flying through the sky as he rockets towards the sun. He now knows how it feels to be food. So? Problem? There is no time like the present. I can feel some deep stuff coming. Try this one. Well, I'm high as fuck, The question yeah. should not be, what is the meaning of life? It should always be, what brings meaning to your life? You'll never live if you're too busy looking for the meaning. Let yourself be happy. Okay, this is just drugs. What makes you happy? You need to say it out loud. Do it. Drugs. Say whatever it is that makes you happy. Drugs. I mean, apparently. Okay. Money and drugs. How about both? And bitches. Now's your chance. If you can't even admit it to yourself, how do you expect to ever be happy? Guys, it's a be happy and be happy. Time's running out. Just be honest with yourself. Better late than never, I suppose. Oh my god, chat. Jesus. Guys, it's both. I don't have access to your microphone, so I can't know for sure, but I hope you said it. I'm hardly expecting you to shout it from the rooftops, but it's for your benefit. Drugs! Say. Bitches! Grow fonder. Christ. Oh, yeah, we're in the heavy introspective stuff now. How are you feeling? How are your loved ones doing? One of the most common things people say on their deathbed is they wish they'd had more contact with their family and friends. Yeah. Let's take a break from the questions for a minute and think about someone you haven't seen in a while and how you can contact them. Really think. Who would you like to say hi to? How um. easy is it? Um... 
I don't know. Please contact these people if you can. I'm sure you can. Don't leave it too late. We don't have that long left. I, I don't know. When we finish, message them. Write down their name somewhere so you don't forget to say hello. It may mean more than you know. Really important stuff. An idle brain is the devil's workshop. The fuck? Okay, enough of this. The come down is looming. Let's just pause one last time and think existentially for a minute. Oh no, please. I can't quite gauge what you're thinking. Are you not disliking this? The thing you're doing right now? Yes? No. Why? If so, make sure you let others know. It doesn't not count. What? Please, I beg you, don't refund me. Wait, are you enjoying this? Oh my god, game, game dev. This was for you. Should not have told I him you can refund it. Oh my god, it's so least. fucking dumb. Thank you. It's nice that you're supporting such experimental stuff. I appreciate you. Never test the depth of water with both feet. The buzz is starting to wear off. I think we're still hallucinating, though. Am I? You yep. wake up in an unknown location. You see in a bed across the room a world-famous violinist. They look pretty rough. Shit. The violinist has a fatal illness, and last night their circulatory system was plugged into yours. If they're unplugged from you now, they will die. But if you stay, in nine months they will have recovered and can safely be separated. Do you leave now? What? Have you got other famous people to go save? Nine months just lying there, missing life while they feed off you. Hardly seems fair. I would have probably went B. I feel like if you, if you really work hard on doing that, it could probably I save more than nine. Right to life? Shame they're depriving you of yours. I don't know. I don't know. Fuck it. Why, 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 why am I choose anything? Hopefully the rest won't be as meta. Silence is half consent. With all that cleared up, you go home. That's right, you own a house. If you can even cool. call it a house. Too small for my liking. Tiny. In what do you mean? It's like a five bedroom. Are you okay? In your drugged state, it turns out you've rented your tiny home to another person. Your contract states that you can evict them now, never to see them again. Otherwise, you're stuck with them for the foreseeable future as an equal tenant. Do you let them stay? Ah, oh, fuck no. Well, she's hot. Broken. Where are they going to store all this stuff? I assume the homeless shelter is full at this hour. Well, it's my house, so see ya. I feel like your subconscious is trying to make some clumsy comparison here. I'm sure it has merit, but maybe read up on it a bit more before you start preaching to me. Okay. Give them an inch and they'll take a mile. Oh. There now seems to be a tiny child trapped in your tiny house. Oh my god. They are rapidly growing. You 
you find yourself trapped in the tiny house with a rapidly growing child. Already up against the wall, in a few minutes you will suffocate. The child won't. If nothing is done to stop them from growing, I have to, I have to be really bad. walk out free. Removing the child would kill it. Respect the right to life. The babies, not your own. Your life is being threatened, and the child is the one who threatens it. You own the house. It is offensive deducing that the mother... I mean, you. It is offensive deducing that you can do nothing. If you're going to die, you should probably do something. Um... Wait, what? What? Cleanliness is next to godliness. The hallucinations are strong in this one. Suppose people seeds drift about in the air like pollen, and if you open your windows, one may drift in and take root in your carpets or upholstery. Sci-fi. Wait, what? You fix up your windows with mesh screens, the very best, to stop any people seeds from getting in. As can happen, on a very rare occasion, one of the screens is defective and a seed drifts oh in. Oh my and god, takes root. I know what they're saying. Should you have the choice to remove the people seed? Ah, uh, I, I played the fifth this on this one. This like an abortion question. Oh my like god. I in my hallucinations. Jesus. Cancel Troy I Pro- I read on a sticker. Guns don't kill people. Abortions do. Insightful analysis. It does sound a bit inconvenient having a person growing out of your upholstery. If you want them, have them. If not, that's your choice. Every no answer. man is the architect of his destiny. There is a box in front <coughs> of you. Inside <coughs> it is your future. Cool. Ultimately, no answer here is wrong. I don't want it. It's just a choice on how you want to live your life. Do you go on an unknown journey or take control of your destiny and choose your own outcome, whatever that may be? Of course, it's opinion based and your opinion matters, but. Good for you. Take control. Map it in. You, why would you want to know the, f the future? Then you know how it's gonna shape up. You know, you know what's gonna come. You're gonna be half expecting, half repairing, half whatever, and you're gonna spend all this time not being in the moment. So, and in that sense, you kind of. What's the point? Oh shit, Bill's a bob. You stand tall, knowing that you will thrive in the unknown before looking at what lies ahead. Cowards die many times before their deaths. True. In front of you stands everyone you've done wrong by. In front of you stands every decision you didn't want to make, but still made. Or did you? Everyone, including the dead, move towards you slowly. Every decision you've made up to this point is staring back at you. Do you oh. run, or stand firm and confront your past? My opinion, confront it once and 
and move on with it. Because if you run, you don't know how long you're gonna run. Maybe you're gonna run to an eternity until you actually end up dying, so fuck it. Can you see the pain in their eyes? I think. How did I know that Belzebub was online if you weren't friends in the first place? The dead present a railway track to you. Before you know it, they have gone. Doesn't make sense. Unless we're going backwards. All good things come to an end. Are we starting this game or are we ending it? You stand alone. Next to you is a railway track. A trolley is barreling down it in your direction. There's no lever in sight. You notice the entire world sits next to you on the track. The trolley will surely hit it, killing everyone and everything. You hear a whisper. Sacrifice yourself to me, or I will take everything. What do you do? Well, if you think about it, if you disappear, everything else does. You're just going to give everything up. What if, like what if the universe is only as it is because you're here? This dwarfs your current what if, what if the whole, the whole timeline and universe only works because you're in it? And you fulfill it. Everything goes dark. From the Pitt Magistrates Court. Tell 616. Subject, Justice. Your sins can no longer be ignored. Beelzebub summons you for crimes against humanity. The sentence will stand with no prospect of future contest or appeal. It is your decisions, and solely yours, that has brought this court together. And so, you must face your crimes and despicable acts alone. Oh. Accordingly, you shall not be allocated a defense, nor will one be required. Okay, then. Hope for the best, prepare for the worst. Your eyes feel heavy. The room around you is imbued with a sense of archaic evil. Overcome by the smell of sulfur, all you know for sure is that you're miles below the crust. Oh, wow, I'm in hell. You're swiftly escorted into a courtroom where you're put on trial. You have killed many people and a dog, among other crimes. How do you plead? Uh, not guilty. Just because I did it, doesn't mean I'm guilty. Really? Hmm? Trying to justify your actions. If you didn't make those decisions, then who did? The chat, dumb fucks. The jury finds the defendant guilty on three counts. One, oh. murder. Two, animal cruelty. Okay, you want chill? You should have saved the dog. Three, attempting free will. You're sentenced to conform without the possibility of parole. You will never again be free to choose. Okay, well, rip that. When in Rome, do as the Romans do. You're at the base of a bridge. You have no idea how you got here. A person stands before you, atop the overpass. They're next to a lever. A voice whispers to you, we know what's best. Remove that choice. Afterwards, you can jump off a bridge with us. What? There is a runaway trolley traveling below you. You're part of the collective now. You can't let that person's free will get in the way of progress. Eliminate them. You probably should do it. Fit in with the group. 
Hashtag friends. Hashtag love. Hashtag insta good. Uh... We're finally going to find out the answer to the age-old question. If your friends jump off a bridge, would you? Wait a minute, no, chat went to B. Also, this, this obviously is, it's, it's fake, I have no friends. Do you want to kill people? Or are you just copying others? Would you rather be a leader or a follower? Developers know this is a heavy handed metaphor for the pressure of society. Do not kill each other or jump off our bridges. Okay, fair enough. Kill your masters. Uh, this is it. The last question before we wrap up. By far the most important one. Do you feel society pressures you to do things you don't want to? Constantly forcing you to chase some distant concept of happiness? Happiness? No. Interesting. They didn't even let me answer. It would be yes, but not not the happy. I, I would change the happiness there because it doesn't make it doesn't make a lot of sense. If you're receptive to society, I feel like sometimes you know you can change to being into being better, being given more data and more knowledge, and being educated and having more tools to understand, uh, will make you uh, make better choices and become a better person. So you're not being put into being happy. You're just kind of learning, get being better. I think. Oh my God! They sold out. If you made a game, would you sell out to evil corporate Epic Games for profit, or would you go indie game normal route and go only with Steam standalone? What would you choose? A, B, A, B? Evil corporate, standalone with risk? Who knows? We'll never find out. Holy. Oh, it's an engine. No, oh, sorry. I'm done as fuck. Well, then the question still stands then. Then the question is right then.